Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see instruction for interlocking in CX programmer. So, we have an instruction called IL and ILC in CX programmer. So, let's see what is that. So, it is like a range. So, I'll take CX programmer's help to explain this. So, I am having one uh, input here and uh, to take a uh, IL instruction, you just type IL here and uh, yeah, the interlock comes. So, this is for safety precaution. See, your program is having, uh, imagine you are having, uh, you know, 100 or 200 lines of, uh, you know, runs you are having in your project, All right? So, in some emergency cases, or in any critical uh, condition, you want to turn off multiple outputs means what you can do, you have to turn off each and everything separately. Correct, to turn off output, there will be some condition and you have to turn off everything. So, instead of that, if you can put that in one range, in one of the, you know, area and uh, if in some emergency cases, you, you can turn off only one condition, you can make only one condition to turn off everything okay so that's what the instruction uh, for interlock will help so i have an interlock uh, you know instruction here and i have a one input condition all right so i'm going to write my uh, program from here so i have one switch and i have a motor here so, like this, you may have a, uh, you know, more motors. Imagine like that. For example, only I am taking only one. But if you want, you, we can take two also. So, I have one more switch. And I have one more output here. So these two motors are in some critical uh, area. If in emer emergency cases, I have to turn off both immediately. So that's what I'm going to put that, put these two motors in the interlock area. So that this is for starting of interlock and this is to clear the interlock. ILC means interlock clear. IL is interlock, ILC is interlock, IL, I mean, IL is interlock, ILC is interlock clear. So, connect this with a run. That's it. So, interlock clear, you got it. Alright. So, just go online. So, let's turn on your output. The power is flowing, but your output is not turned on. Alright. Can you see the difference? The circle is not on because M1 is not on. So, turn on this. M2 is also not on. But, if you put some other, I will add the same input of switch one. And, oh, I have given the same name for this. I am going to have one output here and 3. Okay. So, now let us go online. This is after the interlock area. Okay. This motor 3 is not in the interlock area. So, now turn on this and your motor 3 is running. But for the same input, your motor 2 is not running. Why? Because the interlock area is off. The condition I have given, the condition 0, 0.00, I have given as an interlock, uh, you know, input. No. So, since it is off, you could not be able to perform these two outputs. So, now if I am turning on, so automatically my output is on. See, if you turn on the switch one, now your output is on. So, let some emergency cases, you are turning off. You are turning off only the interlock input, but see, look at this M1 and M2, both are off. 
even though the input is in on condition, your output is in off condition only. It is on, but the output is off because interlock is turned off. See, if you again turn on your interlock, both the outputs will be in on condition. So, this is how you can protect your devices in emergency cases. So, CX programmer is having the interlock, you know, IL and ILC instruction for I know this feature it will give. So, you can make use of it to protect your devices in critical conditions. So, I hope you have understood this interlock and interlock clear. So, I will meet you in the next session. Before that, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Thank you.